guys and welcome back to some more Hypixel Skyblock. They have finally put out the Skyblock levels update on the main server and I am so ready for it. I haven't even logged into the game yet so it's gonna be as much as a surprise to me as to the rest of you as to what level I am. Apparently I'm level 252 which doesn't seem too bad going. That actually looks really really clean in tab but our first port of call is to head over to the museum and claim all of our rewards from there. Introducing Skyblock levels. Your past accomplishments have granted you the following. Your XP, 25,290. From skills, from slayer, from collections, from crafting minions, catacombs level, accessory bag, and 144 more? What on earth are those 144 things? I know you can speak to the curator and go in the museum rewards section and you can claim 136 loads of XP from here. I'm level 265 now. That's quite the jump. I think Death Streaks is like level 300 and something. He's definitely number one with the amount of bestiary and stuff he's got going on so i can't knock 265 honestly i thought i would be lower your skyblock profile so it now shows your level here you only need 100 xp to level up apparently so getting xp must be quite tricky so clicking on that and clicking here will show your skyblock level tree looks like we get strength and health as we go along this is basically to replace fairy souls now because fairy souls no longer grant any permanent stat they actually unlock backpack slots in your storage now that's what fairy souls are for which i actually kind of rate to be honest the fairy souls grind is tedious so having it this way i much prefer and you'll just get levels from playing the game rather than looking up guides and running around every single island trying to find these obnoxious souls everywhere so i really really dig that let's look at the ways to gain skyblock xp and my god this video is gonna be long so the first way to gain skyblock xp is obviously from leveling up your skills i have all of the skills max so we have as much xp we can rinse out of that the next is slayer which i'm missing blaze slayer level nine we've maxed out the catacombs obviously i'm glad that doesn't overflow past cat of 50 man that would suck we've got class level up really we have to get every single class to level 50 i i am not doing that wait you only need one class level 50 Thank God. Buzz 50, it shall be. We've got museum progression, which is basically just pay to win. I've been putting that off for a while. We'll eventually get around to it. Dungeon boss collection? Dude, they actually went all in. This is like the completion bot now. I've got to run floor one a thousand times. Are you kidding me? Bruh. Fairy souls? Eh? I've maxed out the fairy soul, but I'm missing a fairy soul. I'm confused. So you actually do get XP for finding fairy souls still. So technically they do grant stats, just obviously not as many as they did before. Bestiary? Yeah, let's not not talk about my bestiary this is just infinite bro ain't nobody got time for bestiary this is like the only thing in the game that's actually impossible to max somehow it has a cap on the xp though if anyone ever maxes that you are actually insane heart of the mountain oh you actually get xp based off how much powder you have i got a powder grind as well i mean i need to do that for my mythic pandora's box so i guess that's more incentive to do so accessory bag one xp per magical power that's pretty cool so that just goes up infinitely essentially pet score as well I actually like how some of these systems work they're not like hard cap these can progress as the game expands that's actually pretty sick completing quests in the quest log what is this just stuff like give the logger 10 oak wood or something like that how exciting we've maxed out that apparently commission milestones wait i've done all my commission right off to the dwarven mines we go commission milestones boom 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 all of that and only level up twice oh my days oh wait you can take peak of the mountain up to level seven now i definitely need to start powder grinding i saw that they added more tokens to tier seven you can spend two more tokens now which is sick but i did not realize they added two more levels to this as well oh no right what else is there to look at we have collections which i'm 99 percent on missing just a couple but i'll show you all a sneak preview of something i think i'm the first island on the server to have done this but guess what i can craft now that will help us on our blaze nine journey absolutely we might dive into that in a bit actually i'm so excited to try that out but moving swiftly on we have minion crafts 77.7 percent .7%, that's all i'm at bro i'm slacking then again thinking about it i haven't done the pelts i haven't done like the new minions from the crimson r where you have to swap factions for it i haven't done the flower minions still i haven't done the inferno min yeah never mind yeah i am missing quite a few slay drag oh my god i don't have to kill any more dragons thank goodness forget that video where i had the 15,000 likes okay defeating slayers oh this is just defeating each tier of slayer that's pretty cool how that gives you a one-time bit of xp completing dungeons oh completing each of the different floors will grant that as well defeating kudra this is a scam i can't even do these three yet what's going on 
on. Defeat Arachne. Bank upgrades. The dojo. Never again, bro. You saw me attempt the dojo. I took a three-week break. Forget that. Trophy fish. Oh, it actually wants you to get every single rarity of every single one as well. Okay, game. I see you. Harp songs. We've actually managed this one, okay? Even with our terrible ping, we've smashed the harp. And that is every single way to get Skyblock XP. Click to view coming soon. What, you can view all of the new ways you can gain XP? Bro, I don't even know what half of this stuff is, but I see Jerry's face and I ain't happy. I ain't happy at all. I'm surprised there's so many things though. Like that's nearly double what's currently there. Oh, and there's Reaper Peppers. <laughs> My God. Everything that's just made me miserable is up in this menu. I can't wait. Also, if you want to display your Skyblock level next to your name in chat, you can turn it on here. I like that there's a toggle for that actually, because obviously there will be some toggle toxicity around your level like you're talking in the hub someone sees your level one you're gonna get clowned on bro so i like that it's got a bit of a toggle even though there's an empty space right at the start and that kind of infuriates me but i'm obviously gonna keep mine on level 267 is cut okay now i can continue to feel good about myself okay i'm one level above the iniquitous he can remain which we're, we're chilling <laughs> Your Skyblock level ranking. You have completed 83.3% of the total Skyblock XP tasks. Global ranking 186? Honestly, I'm higher up than I would have thought. I'll take that, you know. Oh my gosh, I've only just noticed my EHP. I have 3,000 health in just a space helmet and rancher boots? 5,000 health in this set? Hang on, if I hold this and get out my Sub-Zero Wisp pet. 6,434 health? Fam, Skyblock level rewards go hard, you know. That plus five health, it adds up. Jesus whipped. I am literally just holding a Chimera sword with rancher boots and a space helmet. I have 4,505 HP. Bro, Blaze is gonna be a breeze now. What is this? Overall, I think this is a sick update, honestly. I really, really like this. The only way Skyblock players have had to measure themselves before is with weight, which has always just been a really weird system and there were multiple types of weight and people would argue over which is better and yeah, I just didn't like it. People would just spam like alchemy, get billions of overflow XP and climb up the leaderboard. So I never really liked weight. The completion bot was awesome. I love the completion bot. It's a Discord bot that essentially just shows you how much you've completed in the game and will break it down for you. Like the percentage of accessories you have, pets you have, quests completed, achievements, all that kind of stuff. I really like the completion bot. But the Skyblock level system just feels like a more refined version of the completion bot that you can actually view in game game and track your progress as well as just giving you things to do if you're a new player you can refer to this menu and kind of look at what to do it gives you some direction which i feel like skyblock absolutely lacks so i love this update the only problem is for end game players it essentially just becomes a bestiary competition that's what separates the level 260s like me from the level 300s like death streaks yeah i'm missing a bit of xp in like slayer and collections and minions but nothing too crazy bestiary is going to be the one that makes the difference which i'm not sure or how I feel about, but I like how things like the accessory bag and the pet score can still scale alongside updates. Overall, it's a big dub. There could be some toxicity from people making fun of your level or whatever, but overall, every like MMO in existence has levels. And I think Skyblock is honestly lacking them this entire time. I like that we can finally track it and actually have a bit of a competition with each other. It's sick. You all know how I feel about bestiary though. So for the time being, I guess we need to fix up our Slayer XP as this is a part of the game I actually love. And that means doing Blaze. But you all just saw, I finally unlocked the best armor ultimate enchant in the game. I think I'm the only person in the game to have unlocked this legit so far. Nobody's crafted it. There was a bug where you could get it for a limited period of time a while ago, but the admins wiped all habanero tactics items from the server. So I think it's finally time to make this ridiculous. I'm the second? Oh, elbows are indeed. But I think it's finally time to make this ridiculous enchant, which at level 5 gives you plus 7.5% healing from ones, plus 5% damage with all slayer weapons, and minus 15 magic find if you don't have smoldering polarization. You put this on all four armor pieces, that's plus 20% damage on all slayer weapons, and plus 30% healing from ones. That's cracked! It dunks on legion in every sense of the word, at least outside of dungeons. Inside of dungeons, obviously, that enchant is absolutely useless, but that's why I actually love crimson, because you're never going to use crimson inside of dungeons, so why have Legion on it? We're just going to whack Habanero Tactics on it. The only problem is we need four stacks of stuffed chili peppers. And in the 10,000 collection that I have, I've only gotten 50. And if we go and get an inventory full of chili peppers right now, you can see it sets us back by 66 mil. And we get nine stuffed chilies. This is going to suck. We've shot the price up to 84 million already. Brother, I don't even have half a stack. Don't tell me I'm going to empty the bazaar of chili peppers. 
I did not foresee this being an issue, but it's actually quite possible. Ugh. I can't do that to myself. You know what? Habanero tactics might have to wait because right now I can only make one piece Habanero 5. Let's not do that. We'll do some blazes the old fashioned way. But before we do that, apparently there's a new NPC up in the dungeon hub. Croesus. Bro, why do they keep adding things that I just cannot pronounce in this game? After completing a dungeon run, you get a selection of treasure tests. If you don't open any, I collect and hoard them for you. Oh, so if your team warps before you can actually loot your items, it will just store your chest in here. That's actually pretty sick. No downtime. That's everything I'm about. If only that were a thing on my Kata 50 grind. But you know, actually beyond just convenience, this guy is sick because if you drop a handle and you can't afford to open the chest, it's not lost. You can leave the dungeon and it will stay in here. I don't know how long they stay in here for, but surely you could go and grind out that 35 mil and then buy it from him. That's kind of OP. I dig that. Oh, they're kept for 48 hours? Bro, you gotta get a grind on then. Aside from the fact that I can't use Habanero Tactics this stream, the saddest part about doing Blaze Slayer now is that they patched the oldest bug in Hypixel Skyblock, the Slime Hat glitch. I actually have to use a shelmet on my G-Drag again now. That's actually a massive nerf, bro. That's like 500 strength gone with Antique Remedies and Chimera factored in. That's so sad. Speaking of Chimera, it's gotten dunked on once again, by the way, because they did do a little bit of balancing this patch, which a lot of people aren't too happy about because it did involve some... Uh... Oh, no weapons like the flare of truth and the juju shortbow that now require a floor six completion and enderman slayer level five respectively pretty heavy nerf but more importantly they did exactly what i said they were going to do you're all like it's fine cal don't worry about it cal it'll be funny cal put chimera on your ragnarok axe cal so i did i put chimera on my ragnarok axe and now do you know what they've nerfed the ability so now it only gains 1.5 x this weapon strength for three seconds instead of 2x i told you it would happen chat you didn't listen to me. I mean, I guess using Chimera kind of mitigates that nerf a little bit, but... Man! Oh, God! Woo! That was way too close. Also, I love dropping enchanting bugs from Slayers now because you can sell them instantly to the bazaar. No messing. But there was actually a bug when this update rolled. Would you believe it? That if you died to any mob in the game, you would lose coins on death. Like in the early days of Skyblock. Didn't matter if you had a booster cookie on, piggy bank, nothing. You would lose half of your purse on death, man. RIP to anybody that fell victim to that bug. Although the admins have put out a statement saying they're refunding all of those coins and they've temporarily disabled the thing that does it. But do you want to know what caused that bug, actually? The Emerald Blade. It now has an ability on it called Receive the Curse of Greed when striking, cancelling any effect and modifying your coin loss on death. So now if you use the Emerald Blade and you die while holding it, you will actually lose coins on death no matter what. But temporarily, that applied to every single weapon in the game. The admins really do be hitting, like, all the noob weapons hard this update, bro. Juju, M Blade, Livid Dagger also got nerfed, only 50 attack speed instead of 100 now. Flare of Truth, all of it's getting dunked on, bro. It's insane. And to be fair, it's about time because a lot of those items are way too powerful for how accessible they are. In fact, all of those items are way too powerful for how accessible they are. But I think the Emerald Blade nerf is a little bit harsh, especially considering they literally just put a 2 billion coin cap on it. I feel like you either just do the cap or you just do the lose half your coins on death. Not both. That's madness, bro. To use the M Blade to full effect, you're going to be putting a billion coins at risk every single time. That's mental. They made your Skywalk level the same color as your Skywars prestige. Oh my god, they actually did. The admins are taunting me. Bro, I'm so tired of being pink. When do I get the next color? 270 doesn't give a color. 280 is blue. Oh, that's pretty clean. Okay, we have to get to 280. That's the goal, although it seems so far away. Blue's my favorite color. Give it to me. What's the highest color, actually? Ooh, 320 gets red. That's hot. Red with my red name? Yeah, that's everything I need in my life, bro. But 320, no shot. Oh, there's also another red one at 360. That probably has some animations on it or something like that. What else is there? Any more? Very special seems to be the max. Level 500 is the top level. But the last prefix is very special. I want it. What's the highest level someone has right now? Well, Deathstreaks had the highest completion on the completion bot. And I believe he's level 300. 108. So nobody even has a red level right now, which is pretty mental. And surely the only way for him to gain XP at this point is bestiary, right? He's done everything else. But it's sick. 
Duplex. Oh, you are spoiling me, Blaze Slayer. Welcoming me back with open arms. We love that. I do have a few criticisms of the level system, to be fair. Like the fact I'm out here sporting Blazes with 6,500 health. Why does it give you so much HP? I mean, you all saw the leveling rewards, right? It's all plus five health, plus five health. Literally every single level. Is that all the way back to the start? Plus five health, plus five health, plus five health. Like, what is this? Oh, and you get plus 10 in your first few tiers. Bro, it has just dunked health on you. They needed to mix it up a bit. Give a little bit of crit damage somewhere. Maybe some intel. I don't know. But the fact that all it does is just pump you full of health is ridiculous. Like as if slayers aren't really easy enough. You are now juiced with health. It's crazy. Obviously though, the good thing about this system is this is version 1.0 of it. It's just a grand war. They very much can and will improve on it. They'll add more ways to get XP. They might tweak the current ways to get XP. I think BCRE absolutely needs to be tweaked right now. They might tweak the rewards. They might tweak what happens. They might add more prefixes. I don't know. But 100% things are not final with the level system. Overall, I am happy with the foundations of it, though. I think it's so sick. Thank you for the 50 CZK as well. Cloak saying, hey, Kyle, can you please visit me? I built something for you on my island. Also, and got an item equivalent to the richest person in the world for you. All right, we'll come have a look, brother. <laughs> This is actually dope. How do people build this stuff? I'm forever impressed. Seriously, that is fire. Thank you, Cloakstar. I'm honored. <laughs> what else has he got for me? He says he has an item equivalent to the richest person in the world. He's got a Bezos. They're soulbound. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> I predicted that at least. Hey, we got champion 10 on our Death Ripper Dagger. Also, another thing that drives the Emerald Blade into the ground is the fact that the Claymore finally got a much needed buff kind of. They basically just added gemstone slots to it, which it should have had off the rip. I don't know why it never had them, but that's actually a pretty substantial boost. On top of that, actually, they did also just buff it in general and gave it an extra 30 crit damage. So RIP to the Emerald Blade, truly, bro. Dark Claymore got juiced up big time. I do wonder how much my damage was affected by this update. Obviously, you only get plus one strength every 10 levels. And I'm pretty sure Fairy Souls gave you quite a chunk of strength that's no longer there. But I can't really tell how much damage I've lost, considering I've also lost like 500 strength from no Chimera Antique Remedies. And also my Ragnarok Axe has been nerfed. So I've taken a pretty big hit. I'd imagine uh, weaker players, though, have definitely taken a hit. What, with all of their weapons that they use being nerfed a ton? And with Fairy Soul strength? been taken away. Yeah, it's got to be quite the hit to the old damage. But your health has just gone through the roof, so don't worry about it, because you won't deal any damage, but you also won't die, so you're chilling. Invice Owo Fish. They have 4 billion Contra. He has Owo in the username. I'm not sure if I trust it, but then again, I do love Owo Panda. So just because of Owo Panda, I'm going to invite this dude. I mean, what really do I have to lose? I don't have any dignity left. Greetings, Owo Fish. It's your time to redeem all of the weebs. Don't let me... I mean... He's not a liar, but what in the good holy f this, bro? I can't deal with having two of them. Is this more maxed out than the current one that I have? Yo, it doesn't have Vicious on it. It's crap. And he's maxed out like the non-set. Three-fourth Shadow Assassin with a Zombie Knight chest plate. G7P7 Legion. Perfect Jaspers. Hecatome. Big Brain. Big PP. Pee -pee, Sugar Rush. It's all there, bro. And an artistable short, but with duplex power seven overload. This is horrendous. I can't endorse this. This is like a juju non that just could not move on, bro. It's 10 starred as well. Try M7 in the set. In this hot garbage, brother. What do you mean? All right. Master mode floor seven as a juju sigma. In fact, not even a juju sigma, bro. Artisanal shortbow sigma. This is going to go so horribly, by the way. If any of you are expecting me to make it to the boss fight or whatever, you are sorely mistaken. If I can even kill one mob, I will be impressed. What the hell? I can actually kill things? You know what? This isn't even the worst pace ever. This is surprisingly, like, okay. Also, look how many arrows it's shooting because of duplex. This is mental. I've done nearly 400 million damage somehow. Eh? Bear in mind, this is literally the bow you get from, like, the starter NPC. 
in the hub. It would help if I had like an ice spray or something, to be honest. But clearly we don't think ahead. Because to be honest, I didn't think we'd get this far. This is mental. <laughs> Look at my gear. I'm in master mode four seven. Yo, this floor is a joke. Got him down to three mil. Two mil. No shot. There is no way I'm actually doing this right now. I mean, if I stood away from my tank for more than a second, I'm sure I'd insta die. In fact, I want to see what that's like. I might try clearing the rest of this room without him by my side. Oh, dude, I was about to say, why is this doable, though? Considering the weapon I'm using, like, yeah, it's got maxed out and chance on it and everything, but it's still an artisanal shortbow. The only thing this is good for is, like, early, early game, like, day one bingo profile, bro. There's no way it should be able to do this, let alone Shadow Assassin and a Zombie Knight chest plate. I'm actually about to clear a room. No, we're just coming from another room. This isn't fair. Leave me alone. It's just me and the fells. Your time will come with a mansa. I feel like the Betty Hill theme should be playing right now. <laughs> okay, let's get rid of him. Thank you. No! Another one replaces him? Where's he even gone? There he is. We did it! Wait, there's more? There we go, boys. We actually just cleared a room in M7 in this crap on our own with only one death. That's some BS. All right, all right. There's no way I'm doing a mini boss room. And I'm out of arrows. <laughs> Bro, my quiver was full. Is that how much I've spammed? Oh my days. Yeah, that, that's the end of our M7 adventure. Surprisingly, it's not the gear that limits us. It's the amount of arrows in our damn quiver. That is mental. The gear is still cursed. And I'm never going to use it ever again, but I'm honestly surprised. Oh, I completely forgot about the Art of Peace and Divine Gift as well. Bro, we can get even more HP. I haven't put any of this stuff on my gear because I was waiting to do it all on stream. And I did this so long ago, yet I'm only just doing it now. But obviously with the new Shen's auction, you can buy a Shen's regalia, which grants you access to the regalia room. In here, you can buy a random item that cycles every five hour or days or one skyblock year. And you can buy Divine Gift and the Art of Peace. I stacked up on these the day I got my Shen's regalia, but it's just awesome all been sitting in this backpack this entire time because I wanted to apply it during a stream and yet I'm only just doing it because I'm a bit of an idiot. So let's grant ourselves a little bit of extra magic find and health, shall we? Because we definitely need the health. Now, how much health do we have with a Sub-Zero Wisp pet? 610. What? <laughs> Will I do Diana when she gets elected? Hey, Diana can get it whenever, bro. She don't need to be elected. No, I can't die again. Please, 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 please. You know what? I'm throwing in the towel. I know a way we can get another 7.5% healing from our wand. And right now, I think we need it. You know what? I'm going to be putting half an hour tactics on all my pieces anyway. So I'm going to whack it on the chest plate. Give it to me. Thank you. Our first piece. That was so expensive. All right now, the moment of truth. Is the plus 7.5% enough? Bro, I'm with it. I'm here with the wrong achievements and everything, and I still survive. All right, cool. I guess plus 7.5% is enough. When we have it on all pieces, that's plus 30%, bro. That's actually pretty juicing. Uh, please, Fire Aspect, kill him. Oh my god, that actually... I didn't think it would. Or did it suffocate to death? Either way, Fire Aspect was chunk in there, bro. Did you see that? Wait, I've just realized something. If I'm not using Remedies on my G-Drag, then Chimera on my Ragnarok Axe is almost pointless because instead of giving me like 300 strength, it's just doubling the 130. So on top of the nerf from 2x to 1.5x, I'm also getting a lot less strength from Chimera. Oh my god, it's been dunked on. I, I, I kind of do regret it thinking about that but i don't entirely regret it because i thought if they were gonna nerf it they'd add a strength cap or something to it so the fact there's no cap means i'm just getting even more strength out of it than everybody else but that's still that's still a wound of come here boy i will chase you down to the ends of the earth there is no escaping my wrath for you one good thing about jerry being mayor honestly being able to murder him my favorite time it's poaching season anyways guys i think i'm going to end things there thank you all so very much for watching if you enjoyed please be sure to leave a like and consider subscribing if you're new around here and I'll see you all soon. Hopefully not after three weeks this time. Peace.